Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be switching out this Goodman unit and putting in a 5 ton carrier unit. So that disconnect is going to be switched out. The whip is going to be switched out as well and the carrier unit is going to fit. It's 28 inches the slab so it's going to fit easily. I got to move all this but yeah. We're going to take it out, put in the 5-ton carrier unit, and the air handler is in the garage. So, yeah. Let's do some work. You guys need to see this. That's pretty crazy. And if you guys wondering, power's off. And just to make sure. Yep, power's off. Okay, we're gonna disconnect all this and this unit is gonna go out pretty soon. So cut the copper as well and yeah. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. <clears throat> okay, all the electrical is out. It's really hard to work around with this thing. So, and plus all the copper is exposed out here too. Yeah, it's pretty tough to work around, but we gotta make it work. All right, we got the unit here, so see the copper lines? I just have to cut that filter dryer, put the new filter dryer over there, make it straight, maybe try to curve it at least if possible. If not, I might have to move the, the unit this way and try to bend that that way with a pipe bender. I still need to change out the disconnect. The, I found the low voltage and everything should be able to fit and this is the carrier unit that we're working with today so yeah it's a very good one it's a very good carrier unit okay uh, a little quick tip before before I um, start welding that it's best to put these carriers on isopad and it's by code that by metal by slab you cannot do because it makes a lot of noise it's better to put some isopad on it and if it's a like a different unit like a ream train or an arm american standard <clears throat> they have plastic um plastic um pads that are good for the slab so they're always quiet but if you put like a carrier unit a goodman unit or any other <clears throat> Any other unit that is um, that is made out of metal, it's better to put some isopads under it. So yeah, put some isopads under your units. Now before we move on, I need to tell you guys about these tie downs. You're gonna put eight around this carrier condenser, but be careful when you're tying it down with these self tappers because this coil, sometimes it moves around. So usually it'll be really close to where you're gonna be doing the tie downs. So you gotta look inside and see if you have enough space and then tie it down. Just, just a little heads up for you guys.
And just like that, the carrier unit is running. So right now, I'm gonna do the subcooling. So yeah, let's do it real quick. I'm gonna do the subcooling real quick and then I'm gonna flex that, paint it, and then do the locking caps. So yeah, let's do it real quick. Okay, we got the subcooling at 10. So now it's running in its efficient way. So right now I'm gonna clean up over there, clean up whatever is left here behind, put this tank away and do the armor flex, paint it and put on the locking caps. And yeah, 10 degrees of cooling is the best for these carrier units. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the final results.